Hello and welcome in guys to my in-depth guitar review channel. What I got for you today is the 2021 LTD Eclipse Arctic Metal Snow White. Or is it? More like Snow Yellow but watch the review and find out what happened to this guitar. And here it is. It's one of those guitars that I have been waiting for over a year to arrive. Better late than never I guess. So let's see what we have here. First we got EMG 81TW pickup at the bridge position, it splits with the volume. Then we got black Goto locking hardware. The typical Eclipse cutaway here at the back. Another one here near the neck joint for easier high fret access. Beautiful Macassar ebony fingerboard, no inlays on it. The typical Eclipse headstock and we got this black metal LTD logo. A lot of different opinions about this logo, tell me if you like it in the comments or not. Then we got LTD locking tuners at the back of the headstock. And one huge problem that I have with this guitar, it is the satin finish. And this one has turned yellow, as you can clearly see. The owner of this guitar tells me that supposedly it happened over a day. And to better demonstrate the difference in the finish, I have a brand new 7 string Arctic Metal over here. Check it out next to the used one and see how much of a difference there is. Keep this in mind if you're getting an arctic metal for the snow white finish alone. Anyway, let's talk arctic metal. I will directly quote the official source of the information, the LTD website. So the LTD arctic metal series takes the same design team of our black metal series and flips the color scheme from the darkest of blacks to the coldest of frozen wastelands. So it's pretty much a fancy way of saying we are giving you the same guitar but in white and we are okay with that. The minimalistic look combined with the quality of the EC1000 series Eclipse guitars is a combination that many of you will probably like. For me personally, the satin finish throws me off. The absolutely same thing made me sell my Buckethead signature Les Paul Studio Gibson guitar. It's just that the open pour satin finish always felt cheap and fragile to me. It is my subjective opinion as a guitar owner and doesn't mean that everybody thinks this way. On the contrary, there are a lot of fans of the Arctic Metal series and if you don't like the Eclipse shape, there is a guitar for you too. It is a huge variety. First you got a 6 string Super Strat, then you got a V, the Eclipse that we got here, a Phoenix and a 7 string Super Strat. The bridge is a black Tone Pro locking one and they lock using those Allen bolts with 1.5mm Allen wrench. It's pretty useful when you're restringing the guitar and you don't want to lose the setup. The bridge is metric, screwdriver adjustable and you got a matching Tone Pro black locking tailpiece, locks the same way with 1.5mm Allen wrench. With hefty price tag comes good hardware and Tone Pro locking are ok. And here we are at the neck and we have set through neck construction. Same as the Eclipse 1000 Fluence that I had last week. Then we got 24 extra jumbo stainless steel threads that have been rolled pretty good. Fluorescent side dot inlays and we got some sort of a binding going on over here, a black one as you can see which continues on the headstock. Gorgeous Macassar ebony fingerboard, no inlays. Some people don't like this, others like the aesthetic of a clean fingerboard. My personal experience, I never got lost on this fingerboard as I did with my Gibson Les Paul Buckethead Studio. The big side dot inlays help. Let's measure this bad boy, 42mm at the nut or 1.65 inch. 12 fret is 52 millimeters wide or 2.04 inches. First fret thickness is 20.5 millimeters or 0.8 inch. 22 millimeters at the 12 fret or 0.86 inch. 
I know the specs say that the radius is supposed to be 13.77, but this is leaning towards the 12.13s. LTD are calling this a thin U neck and it's pretty good, it's comfortable for me. Looking at this nut makes me remember the words of a good friend of mine who's a guitar tech. He said, well bro, we gotta eat too, meaning that the nut could be a lot better. Beautiful black binding for the headstock and here is the hole for the truss rod and I already told you that I'm not a fan of this finish and you can see what happens when you try to adjust the truss rod. Even if you use the absolutely proper iron wrench you will still damage the finish over here. You will chip it trying to adjust it and that's it. Or even worse if you're using a longer one you will damage here the front. Just use the one provided with the guitar or leave this job to a guitar tech. I really need to tighten those LTD locking tuners, they're a bit loose, I will do that. But first things first, I'm really curious what you guys think about this LTD logo. Is it too cheesy? Is it good looking? I personally don't mind it because I had a lot of James Hetfield signature guitars and they all come with badges like this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, do you like this badge or not? Drop buttons, one in the front, one in the back, of course in black. And then we move over to this really comfortable three-piece mahogany neck that it's painted in white so you cannot see the mahogany. It's really comfortable for me and it has this small volute over here. We are at the headstock designed by ESP logo, LTD locking black tuners. I haven't played the guitar for long but they seem to hold pretty well. And we got the serial number made in Korea. W21, this guitar was made in 2021. And once again a reminder that you shouldn't throw away your LTD in the trash. Am I forgetting something? Oh of course, here is the bell for the truss rod. It says Arctic Metal, it is white plastic and it has one screw. Arctic Metal is written with this metallic silver font which is pretty cool. Let's throw some strings on this guitar. Last time I tried 1154s, but this time I'm gonna try something different, 1152. And restringing this guitar is easy peasy because the bridge and tailpiece are already locked in place, they are locking, remember? And we got locking tuners, so you don't need to wrap the string around the tuning head. You just point the holes of the tuning heads facing this direction, you tighten from the bottom, then rotate until the string is at a 90 degree angle. This will do for now, you'll tune it later. This way you will get the strings 3x3 facing the same direction and it looks good and neat. Like this, you don't need to wind them around the tuning heads and you don't need to over tighten them from the bottom. If they're coming at an angle like this, you're fine. Let's weigh this bad boy before I play it. 3 kilograms, 436 grams or roughly 7.5 pounds. Time to do a short demo of the Arctic Metal. My honest opinion about this guitar, mm, not really my cup of snow, 
make it a high gloss finish, uh, make it 22 frets, 12 inch radius and I will probably buy one. Nevertheless, I enjoyed trying out this guitar. Thank you my friend for giving it to me for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, goddammit, I will be making a lot more. See you guys next time.